It's time for Season 4 with LA Galaxy, and time to adjust to life without Diego Costa. And who did we sign to replace him? Well, uh, no one. Our only major signing was the free transfer of Luca Fiordellino, and with homegrown star Ryu De Hayun ever improving, and Lorenzo Colombo already established as one of the top stars in MLS, we took the risk of not bringing a new striker in. That risk almost backfired as some European teams came in with offers. How much you will? However, we sat down with Colombo, and we agreed it would take a bit of £15 million to let him go. And we moved on to the CONCACAF Champions League. Our second round opponents would be Toronto, who had won through the playoffs to earn the right to face us in the last 16. They shouldn't have bothered, really, as Lorenzo Colombo was on fire despite the icy conditions, firing in a hat-trick in an impressive 3-1 win. A board draw in the second leg as we set up a quarter-final with Cincinnati. There would be another hat-trick in this game, but not from this guy Colombo. Instead, it was from young centre-back Marcus Verkranus, who bagged three goals in a 10-minute second-half blitz. I left feeling like, oh, I, I could do this again. Then we got soft and conceded twice late on, meaning it would be a tense second leg. Colombo settled our nerves before Cincinnati equalized, but then Andre Gomez sealed it with a fine strike to give us a 6-3 aggregate win and set up a semi-final with Cruz Azul. LA Galaxy are 180 minutes away from the CONCACAF Champions League final, but to get there we must beat one of Mexico's top sides, Cruz Azul. A capacity crowd filled Dignity Health Sports Park for the first leg to see a tight contest settled by a single goal, Colombo selflessly pulling back for Gomez to score. But would that 1-0 win be enough? We took to the Azteca in front of 50,000 crazy Mexican fans and showed nerves of steel as Cabral set up Rodic for an early goal. Morris then got his heels clipped in the area and Colombo put us two up on the night, three up on aggregate. Cruz Azul came out fired up for the second half and soon pulled one back. We rallied though and it was new boy or Delino, who set up Rodic for another fine strike late on, as we won 3-1 in Mexico, 4-1 on aggregate, to set up a final with Tigres. And now the CONCACAF Champions League is only one win away. It's time to complete our journey with LA Galaxy with the CONCACAF Champions League final. Now this is the team we would have liked to have picked for the final, but as you can see, we've got a few problems. So this is the team we have to pick instead. Fiordolino is a great replacement in midfield, but we're going to have to play Medina and Sutalo out of position on the right flank and bring youngster for Kranis into the center of defense. Wish us luck. So we walk out onto the pitch. We're going to do this as a live comp as you may have noticed, not the usual voiceover highlights that we do because it's the final. We've got to treat it special. And the first highlight comes with seven minutes on the clock. Tigress coming forward. Not what we want to see. Come on, don't let them take an early lead, but they have. Surely a bit of offside there, referee. Come on. I think there was an offside, but no. He is, uh, he's, he's going to give the goal. He's going to give the goal. Soft goal to concede. Not the best of starts for us, is it? All right, we're just past the quarter hour mark and it's Tigress again. They are just swarming forward at us. Bond with a good save. I think the players we've got missing, yeah, <laughs> they're really key players and it kind of exposes our threadbare squad somewhat. But here we go, Sutalo with the run forward. Ryu De Hayun plays in Colombo. Come on, Colombo. He's worked so much magic for us. And it's Ryu De Hayun, the Korean youngster, gets the equaliser. Get in. We'll get an encouraged shout out to the boys. We want them all fired up to take this game by the scruff of the neck from here on out. Okay, we've got another highlight. Fiordolino is off, injured, having treatment for a knock. Hopefully he gets back on soon. Gomez! Oh, what a strike. What a strike. That was close. Okay, Gomez with a free kick. Dangerous position. He gets it. To Zapata. Zapata heads over and being told Fiordolino has a pulled hamstring. We're going to try and nurse him through to half time, but we really can't afford to be taking anybody off in this game. We're already missing three key players, and now we're 2 1 down. That is not good at all. Soft goal to concede again. Oh, it looks like it might not be our night. Right then, 2-1 it is at half time. We're going to have to have a few words in the dressing room. Right then, I'm being told to take Fiordolino off. So Medina is going to move into the centre of the park. Youngster Garcia is going to come on on the right wing. Hopefully he can write a fairy tale story here in the second half. We have been the better team here. Going by the stats, we've had more chances. We've just got to convert one of them. There's that guy, Garcia. It's come through to Gomez in the middle. Gomez with a thunderbolt of a shot. Get in. 
that's how you score an equaliser. Right, we're past the hour mark now. We've come from behind twice. Let's hope we don't fall behind a third time. Can we take the lead here for the first time in the game? Morris has got the ball out wide. He plays in Gomez. Gomez with the cross and it's Garcia. It's the youngster. Oh, referee, do not rule this out. Oh, is it going to be a VAR review? What's going to happen here? We've got to wait. VAR checking it. And it's been awarded. Get in the youngster, Francisco Garcia. The super sub, he's got the goal. Oh, he's put us in the lead. Look at that. Nice tap in at the back post. I mean, one problem we've got now, if you look at the bar at the bottom of the screen, so many of my players are running on empty now. They are absolutely knackered. I'm going to have to manage substitutions very carefully. Oh, 78th minute and Tigress looking for the equaliser. They've got the ball into the box and they've tapped it in. Oh, that was terrible defending, I've got to say. We have been poor for the three goals we've conceded tonight. My boys will not last extra time. Not in the condition they're in. And I only have youngsters on the bench. Oh, this is not looking good now. Tigres looking to take the lead again. Don't let them make it 4-3. Ooh, that was, that was a bit dodgy there from Furkranis, but we got it clear. That's the important thing. We're on the break now. Oh, Ryu Dayhoun. Oh, they're going to have a man sent off. We're going to have a man sent off. Kenneth Jame, get out of here. Right. We've got to take advantage of this now. Final five minutes. Can we get the winner? Can we make this 4-3? The patter, don't do anything stupid. Thank you. Morris gets it. He plays a long ball to Garcia. Garcia de Hayun. Ryu de Hayun gets his second goal of the game. And... Oh, we're 4-3 up against 10 men with 5 minutes left on the clock. Surely. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it. But look at that. Nice high ball. Garcia involved again. That's proved to be a tactical mastermind substitution from yours truly. Ryu de Hayun gets the goal. Okay, here we go. We are up to the 90. We're into stoppage time. Surely now. Surely. Surely. We have done it. Yes. Yes. Look at that, LA Galaxy win the CONCACAF Champions League. Oh, yes, come on. Let's watch the trophy presentation. Stick around for it. I know this has been a longer TikTok video than usual, but I think it's been worth it. Here we go. It's been handed over to our captain. CONCACAF Champions League champions and that's what we love to see jonathan bond says it was my half time team talk that pumped the team up to win oh this is what we came here to do la galaxy you asked me to win you the Concacaf champions league it may have taken several months but i've done it